Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. They're polite. I mean, they just take the time for you. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. I like the Angels for what they've done for me. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to Community Connection from Eagle Community Television. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always to the producer of our series and uh, behind the camera, Jeff Durall. We're at McCartney Hall on the campus of Fort Hayes State University, visiting with the director of the Center for Entrepreneurship and instructor of management at Fort Hayes State and Hayes City Commissioner Henry Schwaller. And now we're out of time. Henry, thanks very much for visiting with us again. Thank you, Mike. It's a pleasure. You just uh, experienced another of the startup weekends. Yes, it was our fifth Kansas startup. It is the largest, most successful uh, entrepreneurship event in the state. We had over 80 participants on eight, I'm sorry, on 10 teams. And the top three winners are poised I think two of them are poised to actually launch, and so they are in their initial stages of, of taking what they've learned from the weekend and launching their businesses, and I'm working directly with one of them. So it's an exciting, it's an exciting environment because we're really seeing a change in the culture on campus, not just here in the College of Business and Entrepreneurship, but across other disciplines as well. Are you pretty impressed by what you're seeing because it's about, what, third year? I yes, guess? it is. And what we are seeing are better ideas. Uh, we surveyed the participants and asked them many questions like how do they like the event, what would they change, also what motivated them. And many of them came because they had a great idea, mm -hmm. where in the past many of them came because they were earning extra credit. And okay. there's no harm in either one, but we do see that, that students are motivated because they have a great idea, they want to see what they can do with that but they're also really anxious to make something happen, and it's great. Well now, uh, when these young people come, uh, they are then mentored. Uh, what's the next step beyond the startup? They're weekend? mentored, and that's the job of the Center for Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. We are here, really we are connectors. We have access to mentors, uh, people's technical expertise, other resources and we connect them. Mm -hmm. uh, the one team that I'm working with now, because again, we're kind of learning, we're, we're a startup in our own right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working with them directly as they look at the technology and the aspect of that. So really, I'm merely a connector that helps them refine their product and helps them launch it if possible, yes. And you've been able to bring up in this startup uh, weekend, you've been able to bring up some really top quality talent in business from across the nation. Well, that is, that is the best part, thank you. Uh, we've been able to attract uh, judges and coaches who are willing to spend a weekend here in Hayes, America and work with these students. And uh, some of them have come back many times. And, and, and in fact, uh, one of our uh, judges is from Boulder uh, he actually is an alum of the institution, but he just is blown away by the ideas that he sees here and how they're advancing. And he says, you know, in Boulder, when I go to uh, pitches, in other words, con you know, when people talk about ideas, mm -hmm. he said, they're all technology. You know, what's a new app? And he said, the breadth and the depth of the ideas here is so much bigger and better. He says, it's very impressive. He, he brags to his friends in Boulder about what's going on in Hayes, Kansas. Wow. And that's great. And that's great for Fort Hayes State because, again, it puts the university uh, in the forefront of really business people who can provide a future for these young people. That's true. And Fort Hayes as part of its mission to serve Western Kansas. And so that is important as well. Absolutely. Well, now, what's the event in April? Well, the event in April is a culmination of one that will be over many months. But what we do on campus is we have an on-campus competition where students do a very similar thing in that they pitch an idea, they refine that idea, they actually determine whether or not there's a customer, whether or not there's a solution to a problem. We have a, a group of mentors on campus and off campus that help them. And then they present their final uh, idea to us in an on-campus competition with the process of advancing to a state competition. It sounds a little confusing, but the point is that the Kansas Entrepreneurship Challenge is an event that will be hosted here at Fort Hayes for the very first time. Uh, it has been hosted in prior years by Kansas State University. 
We're working with Network Kansas, uh, an entrepreneurship clearinghouse based out of Wichita State Entity, and we will be hosting high school students that are part of the Network Kansas community, and they will be coming here for the Youth Entrepreneurship Challenge on Monday, April 24th, and part of that will be open to the public. It's amazing the ideas that these high school students have, and it's an honor to have them here on our campus. You've been doing this, as a matter of fact, and responsible for the actual beginnings of it, Henry. Uh, give us a couple of ideas that have stood out of the presentations that really struck uh, home with you to, to give us an idea of the quality of what's being presented by these young people. One uh, is from this spring, and it's very much the top of my mind, and I think you would enjoy it. Uh, these students, we had a biology major, an applications major, so someone who knew programming. We had a marketing major, uh, created a device, a working device with an app that tested air quality uh, across uh, you know, CO2, ozone, so forth and so on. It was an amazing miniature device. They didn't quite know who the customer was, so that, that they struggled with that. I purchased a similar device on Amazon two weeks ago. Uh, it, it is identical. However, I will say the product that our students developed, not knowing this other product exists, was superior in every way. So there's one. Uh, now, there are some that are coming out of this falls that were really mind-blowing. So I, there's not much I can say until they get to a point where they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. But we are beginning to see an intersection of, of great technology with just practical need in the field. So one is a livestock application that I think could be really revolutionary, particularly people that have livestock or animals that have a, a high value. And uh, that, that, that's an amazing one. There was one that I, I know that wasn't the team's best idea, but it was a way of preserving and capturing uh, video of maybe grandparents or parents so that future generations can have a sense of what was my great grandfather or great grandmother like? What was their life like? And uh, it, it's a very simple idea, but the way that they described it and the way they were going to put it together and again, they don't even intend on launching it. They just wanted to see how far they could push the idea and change it and shift it over the weekend. My it was goodness. an amazing, amazing product, and it touches the heart. I was going to say, that's got to give you a, a great amount of satisfaction, I would think, to see what these young people are capable of as an instructor here well, at Fort Hayes. Yes, and I had nothing to do with it, of course. I'm just simply the, the person that brings them together. So the fact that, that they have these ideas and they're able to push it and follow the direction from the coaches and the judges, that, that is wonderful. Let's shift gears a little bit and talk a little bit uh, here on our Community Connection segment yes. about uh, City Commission. Yes. Uh, the year past and the yes. year future. Well, uh, obviously with Commissioner Phelps getting elected to the legislature, uh, there's an application online at HayesUSA.com, I believe, is the city website. But there's an application on the city's website for uh, his replacement, and we will make that decision in January. Um, one of the trends that has been a problem for the city, and it's unique really to Hayes, uh, we've had declining uh, sales tax collections for a, a prolonged period of time. We're not seeing that in rest, rest of other parts of the state. Um, probably it's due in part to our oil economy. Uh, that is obviously a huge driver. Uh, maybe some ag issues, but it's also, I think, due in decline in population that we mm -hmm. are we're seeing some trends that are, are, are very disturbing. Other than that, the city continues to move along with a very healthy cash balance, mm -hmm. refinanced some bonds uh, last week at a very low interest rate. We continue to do well fiscally. Our services are still quite good, but again, I'm really concerned uh, the outlook for the future for us economically. But again, a very strong financial stability in the city thanks to uh, the reserves that are in place to be yes. able to pay the bills. Over fifty million dollars on hand. Of course some of that is earmarked for special projects like mm -hmm. the water development project that is now very much underway mm -hmm. and to bring uh, new water to, to the community. But uh, it is very healthy and it gives us an opportunity to pay cash for items rather than issue debt which had been a problem when I started. But we've also in many cases now opted just not to do some things mm -hmm. and that is uh, not a bad thing. What is the current, bring us up to date on a couple of projects, uh, one of which is the water project. Uh, what's the current status now? The applications for the th there are three different areas are on file uh, with the state. Uh, one is for the change of use, that is agriculture to municipal, uh, to actually move the wells that are on, they're located in Ed Edwards County, uh, abandon some or you know, put some to rest and then move them to a more optimal, optimal location. 
because uh, some of the wells were competing against each other. And then the third is a change of location. Mm -hmm. To That will probably be the more difficult one. There will be a series of public hearings uh, at some point. I think the first public hearing uh, probably looks more environmental impact. Mm -hmm. and then there will be the one on the, the change from location, which could be, mm -hmm. both of these could be very difficult, but the city has been very diligent in working on that. And uh, that's in partnership with Russell, so that partnership is yes, still ongoing. absolutely. I believe we're going to have a meeting within the next 60 days, if not the next 30. Mm -hmm. And the other uh, project uh, that uh, is on the horizon, the uh, sewage treatment plant. Yes, that is, strangely enough, although it's here and it's self-contained, that one has been a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, the city manager will provide an update to the community. Um, it's very expensive for what it is. Again, it's about a $27 million budget. We want to stay in pretty tight at that. Mm -hmm. And we're taking a facility that was built in the 1950s and modified, to be honest, and modified mm -hmm. and trying to keep as much of it as we can, but to be able to meet the new EPA guidelines, mm -hmm. which we have not We've struggled a few times. Well, and uh, Jeff and I were out doing a uh, special on uh, the sewage treatment plant yes. and were amazed by the quality of the staff there oh. and the people who can keep this aging facility running and up to standards. Yes, I mean, the, <laughs> the, the men and women who work at the wastewater plant, are, that's the only reason it's still operational. It is. Uh, more of a Rube Goldberg uh, arrangement, and it, it requires a lot of manual work, but they know how to keep it going, how to repair it if necessary, and we are very much indebted. But if, if you look at any city department, whether it's parks, uh, public works, refuse, uh, GIS, everything that we do, we, we are very fortunate to have the very best, just like Fort Hayes State University, and it's just something about Hayes, and it, I'm very proud and humbled to have all those people that, that dedicate their lives to the city. City Commissioner and uh, Director for the Center for Entrepreneurship, Instructor of Management at Fort Hayes State University, Henry Schwaller, our Community Connection. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. And the angel care nurse comes to see me once a week. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Angel Care has helped to, to stay home. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients.